Hello guys and welcome to TypeScript series. In this series I'm showing you how to code with TypeScript. Today I'm gonna show you some TypeScript classes. Some of you who come from languages like C-Sharp or Java are pretty much familiar with classes. Some of you who come from JavaScript may be familiar with it if they come from the ES6, if they coded with the ES6. Uh, those of you who are not, uh, it may be a little bit new, but it's still not so difficult to understand. So let's dive into the code. So let's get started by adding a new file. Let's call it classes intro ts. Okay, the first class we're gonna create is gonna be called uh, car. It's gonna represent a car. And the way you do it is just doing this. Typing a class and the name of the class. Now we're gonna add uh, our first method to the class. Let's call it start car okay it's gonna be used to start our car and it's gonna be a public start car and it's not gonna return anything and for now it's not gonna do uh, no logic and that's it simple way of defining a public method that we can access from outside that's named start car now when we create an a variable of car new car we can start our car defining a private method is also available to us and we will do it like this using the private keyword uh, with the convention of underscore uh, to to understand when we see a call to the method inside our code of the car class uh, if it's a public or a private uh, method and we're gonna use the start engine okay we're gonna call the method start engine and it's gonna start the engine okay and the start car is gonna call the start engine okay and now we can only see the start car method and if we try to type the start engine method it's gonna yell at us and tell us that the start engine is actually a method that doesn't exist publicly on the, on the class. To build this file I'm gonna use our shortcut that I defined a few episodes earlier. It's gonna be Control shift b for building and it's gonna run the tsc command and now I'm gonna open the file the file classes intro js that it created and I'm gonna see sorry and now I'm gonna see the uh, definition of the class uh, which is a function of course with a start car on the prototype and the start engine on the prototype as well uh, and here is the definition of uh, the variable car and the call to the start car method it's pretty clear what's going on here. You may notice that the start engine is actually on the prototype and uh, if I use pure JavaScript, I actually can call the private method. It's not really private, but when uh, using TypeScript, uh, I can't use this, this method because uh, the TypeScript verifies that I can't call any private methods. It's, it's gonna be a compile error. The next thing that I'm gonna show you is going to be a constructor and now for now it actually has a default constructor that doesn't uh, have any parameters and now I am going to define a, define a constructor okay it's still a default one that means that it doesn't accept any parameters and now I'm gonna accept a brand name okay uh, of the car and now it's yelling at me because there is no default constructor and I have to pass the brand name let's use uh, I don't know Mazda okay and now the brand name is passed as Mazda to set a variable of uh, the brand name uh, I can use two of the options one of the options is going to be, going to be uh, declaring a public brand name 
and setting the brand name like this and now I'm going to console log the car dot brand name and after I build the files and I'm gonna run the source classes intro JS you're gonna see the Mazda logged out here uh, another way to do it is actually a shortcut instead of declaring and setting the variable name like this I can simply delete this here now it yells at me here and here because I deleted the public member delete the assignment in the constructor and simply put the public world uh, here and it's actually a shortcut of doing the same thing that I did earlier and the outcome is going to be the same I'm gonna compile and run the classes intro and it will be logging the brand name to create a private member uh, all you have to do is start with a private keyword and I'm gonna create a private um, I don't know series number and number and it's gonna be some number that every time a new car is created it's gonna be uh, added with uh, another number and uh, and so on so let's implement the logic let's assume we have some private series static series number it's gonna be initialized with zero Do, 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 do. static okay sorry private static series number and every time a new car is gonna be created it will increment increment the series number and will assign the series number to be the car dot series number so for the first time we create a car it's gonna be uh, the series number is gonna be one so let's expose it with a read-only property this uh, to define a read-only property you need to expose it like so with a getter get series number it's gonna return a number and it's gonna return this dot series number this way you expose the public uh, uh, read-only property uh, what I mean by read-only you can I mean you can read it console.log uh, series number car.series number series number but you can't uh, assigned to it so if I have, for example try to assign some number to it it will uh, yell at me because it uh, cannot assign to series number because it's a constant or a only property so it means that it doesn't have any setter exposed so let's just see what we get here let's brand number let's just compile it and let's run it okay so the brand number is Mazda this is what I created here and the series number is gonna be 1 because first the, for the first time it's 0 and uh, here it's gonna be incremented by 1 and assigned to the private member so if for example I create a new car and for example it's gonna be a Mazda as well and when I do the same thing for the second car brand number two car series number two sorry car two dot series number and let's compile it and run it so the first Mazda is gonna be series number one the second Mazda is gonna be series number two and each car we create is gonna increment the series number uh, 
Now let's assume we do want to expose some property and let other people to set and get the property value, but uh, instead of just uh, exposing it as a brand name like this, uh, we want to do like some uh, logic when setting the value and uh, like, I don't know, some validation. So let's uh, assume we want to, to expose a public, no, let's start with a private, uh, I don't know, owner, owner name, it's gonna be a string. And we're gonna expose public get owner name. And we're gonna return this owner name. Okay, so reading it is gonna be pretty easy, but when setting the owner name, the name string, we want to do some validation here. I don't know, do some validation on the name. I'm not gonna do any validation. And we're gonna assign the owner name to be the name. So now when I, for instance, take the car and set the owner name to be me, I can log it, like here, the owner name is gonna be car.ownername. And if I do the same here, for the first car it's gonna be my name for the second car is gonna be guess guess let's guess it's gonna be undefined because no one has ever said the property of the owner name so when we read it it's gonna be undefined now let's assume that uh, we want to be able to create a new car only for some person that already bought it for example, if it's like, I don't know, some exotic car and we want to create a car that doesn't go anywhere, it's very expensive. Uh, so we don't want to create any cars without uh, any owner. Uh, so this, what happens here, will never happen. So how can we do it? Uh, in two ways. One way is uh, setting uh, another uh, variable here in the constructor and uh, allowing only uh, cars, cars to be constructed uh, with uh, an owner name uh, but it's one way to look at it but sometimes uh, we want to be able to construct the car in a different way I don't know, construct a class and uh, to be able to do some uh, actions on it like uh, some uh, builder pattern, I don't know uh, so we can do it uh, in this way so first of all we can uh, set the constructor to be private okay so no one can access the constructor and all our new uh, cars are gonna be uh, errors now and it's saying that uh, the private constructor is only accessible within the class declaration meaning only from here I can access the constructor now I'm gonna expose a static method let's expose it I don't know here and it's gonna be a public static uh, by car and it's gonna have a public brand name and it's gonna have owner name it's gonna be also a string and what it's gonna do sorry it's not public sorry what it's gonna do actually It's gonna create a car. Let car be new car with the brand name. And it's gonna assign the car owner name. Here I can access also the private members, but let's access it through the setter to do some validations. Uh, remember we added the validations uh, before on the setter. So owner name equals owner name and we're gonna return our car. So now, instead of creating a new car like this, I'm actually gonna buy a car, like this, and also pass the 
a variable of the owner like this and I'm gonna remove it from here and I'm gonna remove I'm gonna leave this example here too as well and I'm gonna set it to I don't know other name I don't know. so now when I compile it and run it it will be all the same so for the first time it's gonna be Mazda for the brand name series number one again and the owner name is Slava and for the second time it's gonna create a, another Mazda with series number two uh, and uh, owner name other owner this pattern is actually quite useful because you can do constructor overloads but you can do uh, function overloads and you can create functions with different meanings for example you can create a another static function uh, like instead of by car you can create a, a, a static function that on, uh, only builds one like public static build car with brand name string car and it's gonna return a new car brand name okay so now you you're having a two construction functions one which is named build car and one which is named by car and uh, it's like overloading uh, a constructor but it's even more it's uh, giving some context of what you're doing in the first build car you're just building a new car without giving uh, any owner to the car when you're using the by car method you're actually instead of just building the car you're assigning the owner to it so we're giving a little bit more information and uh, clearing up what you're doing here to summarize what we've seen here today is how to create a simple class with some public and private functions and the private private and public uh, members also we've seen how to create public uh, static and private static functions and methods how to create getters setters read only properties properties that you can assign to them and do some logics within them and how to uh, create a default constructor how to set the constructor to be private and how to create some build uh, functions to be a static function with the combination of the static constructor to create some something like a uh, build pattern you have watched an episode about actual classes let me know what you think about it in the comments down below you can watch other typescript videos and learn more about typescript by clicking here feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking here or some subscribe button down below see you next time on program artist Thank you.